So here I am on my website, right? And down in the right corner here, here you can see the AI agent from Eleven Labs. This is a widget now uh, I pushed to my website. So this is live in, or in production, right? So how this works now is we can click on this to talk to our AI agent that has knowledge about the website. So if I just click here now, right? Hey, this is Chris. If you have any questions about my website or me, let me know. Yeah, I see you have a newsletter here. Uh, what is this about? It's an AI engineer newsletter. I send out one or two emails a month with information I think is valuable. I also include my thoughts on okay, the latest Okay, okay, that's release. fine, that's fine. Uh, I'm on your videos page now. What was the latest video you uploaded? The latest video I uploaded was Coding with Cursor AI Full Stack Web App Tutorial. It's it a complete- says, It says, here it says five challenges. That's right. The video is five challenges for Claude computer use. It's a practical demonstration of Claude's capabilities. Okay, what about the Swarm video? The Swarm video is called OpenAI Swarm AI Agents. It's an analysis of agentic workflows and a discussion of collaborative AI okay, systems. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. But what about, uh, I need to send you an email. My email address is chris at alabtai.com. Okay, that was pretty hard to hear, but I can see you have a GitHub here. Uh, what is kind of the latest repo on your GitHub link here? My latest repo is called eLabs Agent. It's an 11 labs agent and is written in JavaScript. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, you also have this easy local rag something that is pretty popular. How many stars? The easy local rag repo has 767 stars. It's a super easy local rag setup using a llama and email rag. It's written uh, okay, in Python. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I got what I need. I'm gonna sign up for that newsletter, right? How do I do it? You can sign up for my newsletter on the website. I is send it, out it, one. Is it free? Yes, the newsletter is free. I send out one to two emails per month with information okay, I think okay. is valid. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any other questions. Bye. Okay, so everything you heard, that was real time, right? So that's pretty good latency. I, I would approve of this. And what is nice is that we can change the voice, whatever voice you can. I try to do my voice, but it's so. It has this very weird accent, so in the future I'm going to add my own voice. But yeah, that's basically intro, now I'm going to show you how you set all this up. I also made this mock, uh, you can see this is like a mock uh, e-commerce store. And this is where I think this could be really game-changing, asking about products, prices, policies and everything like that. So let me show you how I set this up, how you can too. And we're going to test out this uh, customer support agent thing here, right? So the way we set this up is on 11labs.io, right? And they have this beta feature here called conversational AI. So if you click into here, you can see they are adopting the AI agent term, right? Con create and configure conversational AI agent using realistic captivating speech. Okay, so you can see I have my two agents here. Uh, let's start with uh, the web page agent we just had a look at, right? We have an ID here that we are using for this widget. We can test it in this playground here, that's pretty cool. And we can set everything up here, like uh, now we are using a prompt, but you can see in the future we might do like a server, that's pretty cool. Language, first message, so this is the message we play when we get onto the website. So you heard that. And we have a system prompt. And what is also cool is that this is the knowledge base, right? So here I put in some information about my newsletter. Uh, I linked my repo. So there's where we got all of the, um, the information about the repos I have. I have something about myself. I have about my videos. Services I offer. I didn't mention that now. I kind of forgot that. But that's pretty cool too. And here you can put in everything knowledge base. But what I also have is... Uh, LLMs, so we can change whatever model we want, right? So now I used 1.5 Flash because that's pretty quick. But we can also use 3.5 Sonnet if we wanted to, I guess, get a better response, right? But uh, Flash is pretty quick, the latency is super low and it's pretty cheap. So that is kind of what I liked. So the currently the LLM cost is covered by us. In the future, this will be passed on to you. In this beta thing, uh, we don't pay any tokens. So that's pretty cool. But we still pay for the time on the voices. So I don't think I have the... I can't keep it up, I think. We'll see. I might keep it up on my website for a while if you want to try it out. Let's see about that. 
so that was that part, right? Uh, here is where we select the voice. So I just picked the voice, set kind of stability, similarity, and you can choose a latency. This is going to cost you more if you want lower latency. Uh, and we can pick whatever voice we want here, right? So there's a lot, a lot of voices you can have in your own language. That's pretty cool. And we have advanced. Yeah, I'm not going to go too much into here, but you can set like maximum conversation duration, timeouts, keywords. Uh, here is the widget. So that's pretty cool. So he, it's pretty easy to set up. You have this widget and you can customize it, right? So you can see here's my style. Uh, but we also have uh, an SDK here, so we can look at the documentation because we can kind of customize this to whatever we want. So in my mock uh, page, this I kind of use this backend here. So we're gonna take a look at that. But I'm not gonna dive in deep into the S uh, SDK today. I'm just gonna focus on kind of what I think about this. We're gonna try it out and stuff. But it's very easy to set up. I think they made a good job of that because we get this widget we can just place on our on our um, website, right, with this agent ID. So it's pretty cool. But now I think we just want to test it out. Here is kind of my support agent. And I want to show you kind of how I set this up. So here is kind of my support agent, Emma. We have a knowledge base. Here is everything about our chipping and return policies. Everything about the items in our store, right? So we have that knowledge in the knowledge base. We selected Gemini 1.5 Flash. It's fine for now. Uh, you're friendly, enthusiastic, really want to help the customer, get information about store items and policies, answer in three to seven sentences. And yeah, that's basically it. So I think we're just going to fire that up and test it out. So this is where I was thinking like this could really replace a lot of jobs if you do a good job on setting this up. Uh, of course, customer service is at risk being uh, not maybe replaced but being changed anyway but uh, i think this is another great way and there's a lot of other stuff we can do with this so this is let's say this is a cheap e-commerce business you don't have maybe don't have money to have a, like an a customer agent or a, some kind of support but you could maybe fire up this agent here that can help your customers right so uh, i wanted to know a bit more about this smart fitness watch right so i can just start a call Hi, I'm Emma. How can I help you today? I'm looking at this smart fitness watch. Could you tell me a bit more about it? There's so little information about uh, it on the website. Of course. The smart fitness watch is a really cool device. It's designed to help you track your health and fitness goals. It can monitor your heart rate, sleep patterns, and stress levels in real time. And it tracks over 20 different workout types. It also has a built-in GPS, Blood oxygen do, do, monitoring. You, do you have any information about the battery life? That's important to me. You're right. Battery life is super important. The Smart Fitness Watch has a battery life of five days, which is pretty impressive for a yeah, smartwatch with all good. those. And can you confirm the price for me? Of course. The Smart Fitness Watch is priced at $149.99. Is there anything else I can help you with today? So I was looking at this 27 inch gaming monitor. I really need it for tomorrow, um, next day delivery, if you have that. I, I live in Hawaii, by the way. Oh, that's great. The 27 inch gaming monitor is a fantastic choice. Unfortunately, next day delivery isn't available to Hawaii. We do offer express shipping, which takes two business days though. Would you like to know more about express shipping? Yeah, I need a price for that. Of course. Express shipping for the 27-inch gaming monitor is $12.99. It's a great option to get it to you quickly. Would you like to go ahead and place an order for it? I'm also looking at that pro gaming mouse, but there's no DPI information. I need it to be uh, yeah, over 15,000 at least. Oh, great question. You're right. The product description doesn't explicitly state the DPI. Let me check our product specifications. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. The Pro Gaming Mouse does have a DPI of 16,000, so it's definitely over 15,000. It's a great choice for gamers who need precision and accuracy. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Okay, so I thought that was pretty cool, right? Uh, let's say we wanted to do something else now with our e-com store. So let's say uh, I just asked Claude here to write some payments, methods, and security. So let's just copy payment methods here, right? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. 
uh, special programs. Yeah, just stop it there. It doesn't matter too much. So I'm just going to copy that. And then we can go back to our agent here. Super easy. Knowledge base. Add item. And here you can see we can do files, URLs, and text. So I'm just going to do payment. I'm going to paste in the content. Add item. Save. And now uh, we should be able to ask about uh, payment, right? So let's try that. Just going to restart my server here. Let's go to our port, refresh this, and uh, let's ask about payment now. Hi, I'm Emma. How can I help you today? Okay, so I just uh, want to buy an item, but uh, give me like a quick summary of the payment options, like the most popular ones. Of course. We accept a wide variety of payment methods, but the most popular ones are credit and debit cards like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. We also have digital wallets like PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, I, I kinda and Shop. I kind of like this pay now or pay later, or what it's called. Oh, you mean buy now, pay later options. We have a few of those, like Klarna, Affirm, and Afterpay. They let you split your purchase into okay, interest-free... Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, thank you. You're very welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Okay, as you saw, we introduced payment options. We got uh, every information, Klarna... Google Pay, Apple, everything, right? So that worked pretty good. So super easy to customize, to adjust. We can change voices. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good initiative for a, like a big uh, AI voice company like uh, Eleven Labs, right? Yeah, that is pretty much what I wanted to cover today. I wanted to try out Eleven Labs' new conversational AI. They're going into the AI agents thing. I think that's pretty cool. And they did a good job here from my testing. Super easy to set up, super easy to add context. Rag, voices, pretty fast. Inference is good. So I think this looks like a good product again from Eleven Labs. Uh, I'm, I'm not pushing any, like, uh, there's no uh, affiliate or anything here. I just like their product, so I wanted to test it out. And I can see some disruption here, right? The customer support, but it's mostly about adding value i think right let's say the price comes a lot down this could be a cool thing to have on your website i tried it on mobile it works great right so pretty interesting i'm gonna follow this space uh, so if you want to follow more like this on the channel just give it a like and a sub and i'm gonna cover these ai agent uh, releases when they come out sign up for a newsletter if you want to do that uh Follow my videos, main page, have some services I offer if you want to talk to me, right? Better turn this off. Conversation, if you want a YouTube video shout out, uh, we can discuss the price. If you have a project you want to highlight, just contact me on that page. Find a link in the description below. Become a member of the channel. Thank you for tuning in. See you again soon. Bye bye.